Okay, we are finishing up the colored pencil full moon owl. So we left off where everything is colored in blue and we're about to create or finish up the owl part and add some black to the rest. So I now want to go in and just erase the pencil marks around the owl as much as possible. And then I'm going to add the blue colored pencil to that. So we basically started off or I should say continued with adding some light blue shading over here and we're going to add some darker blue shading right over here and then right here we're going to also start to add some details for instance some line work coming from the bottom of the tail. Some shading here. And also along the right side. We're going to do the same on the left. This again is still with our blue. And we're now going to start to add some light, well, not light blue, but using a light touch to with our blue to these lines in the tail. And then we're going to add the line kind of across. And then we're adding another line across, but instead kind of going singly on each kind of feather. So these are the separate feathers. And then in between each of the feathers, we're going to add a bit of a blue line like so. And I'm just going to add some shading now, light shading up here, and then to this triangle, upside down triangle, we're going to start to add kind of light fur lines to make it look more like fur. Go a little darker here and I also want to take this opportunity right now to also lighten up the pencil marks or pencil lines on the claws or talons and then we're going to start up at the top of the head of our owl so starting around here we're going to go around his face with a very light drawn drawn line in blue and we're going to make a separation of line and do the same on the other side and we're going to double this line so we're going to make line right there and then we're going to come back inside double around as well like so and then around this section we're going to be doing both blue and black and 
and we're going to be sort of making kind of a pattern like so. This is with the blue. So we're going to do this all the way around the space. And on the other side as well. And then we're going to color that in with our blue, blue, I almost said blue marker, our blue colored pencil. We're going to come back here and do more, but I want to kind of come around to the eyes with this blue and just make sure that those are outlined in the blue and then I'm going to put the blue down and add the black on top of the blue in the eyes. Kind of started to do that before but I kind of rushed it so now I'm going to go back and really make it dark. Remembering not to color over the highlight in the eyes. And a line of blue on top of the black on his nose. And then we're going to go inside the nose and lightly shade on the right side. And then we're going to come down here and we're going to make small, small lines, fur lines going all the way around. On the right side and then a little bit. On the left side. And I'm going to go back and just fill this in a little more coloring wise. Right underneath the nose area and do some shading and also again kind of little tiny strokes to indicate fur. There's it right underneath his eyes. And then we're going to go back in with the black around here. And we're going to make little black lines inside the curved areas. But first, go back and kind of copy over the blue with the black. The same here. Apologize for the background noise. We live in a townhouse and they are doing the lawn today. <laughs> so that's probably what you hear. 
to go on the inside and start to make little black lines in the curved areas. all around and then I also like to go around the edge and take the black and sort of color that in almost like a border to kind of even it out and then do the same on the inside and then I lightly shade over inside the new border that we made using the black so just creating texture And then I like to go back sometimes a third time. And then we're on to the head. And so we come up with the blue again. And we're going to make sort of little scribbles for the texture. And we're going to also add a little piece of black on top of these little kind of blue scribbles. So there is the blue. Make a little bit wider scribbles. And then what I do is on one section of the blue, I just add a little scribble of black so that the blue is still showing. And then we're gonna do the same over here, except the pattern is sort of like triangles. And then on the other side, triangles stagger in between these triangles. I'll show you if that sounds confusing. So for instance right here kind of going in between the white areas And then you're going to do the same over here. They don't have to be real clear triangles. They're just kind of triangular, pointy at the top. And then we'll go back again with the black. And down here, I like to add some black and blue combination so that it's dark and the same underneath. So I just added black to the blue. And then I'm gonna do the same here as far as the triangular sections. Same 
hair. Our little owl is really coming along here. As we get down to the bottom here on the right side, press a little harder so that it's a little darker. And then we're gonna do the same in this area, putting the black on top of the blue. And then also we're gonna do some shading here and some outlining in black. In this bottom lower half and extend this one a little bit too. And I like to go back in again with the blue just to make it a little darker. And then we're also going to do the same with the shading on parts of it. See we skipped this part with the blue and then we want to now go into the white belly sort of of his fur and we're going to make light blue pieces of fur here which is going to also take us down into this section where his claws are and we're going to create fur kind of coming around this area as well and the way we do that is what I'm doing right now is making shaded pieces of blue and it gets a little lighter as we go into his little white belly here. So as you can see, I'm lifting up my pencil. And creating little pieces of fur. And come back down here and it gets even smaller. And the hairs a little bit more in a different direction. And we'll come back here and just shade this a bit. And then Picking up the black to go into the tail and just make a few pieces of it a little darker by adding blue mostly to the bottom part of this tail. Sort of in between the lines and the lines going across. Like so. And I'm just going to darken up the tail back there. It's looking pretty good. And we now have to go into his claws a little bit. Just add a little bit of shading with this blue. to the claws, same here. And we're going to then go on to the tree and make that darker in this area. And we are almost finished with this guy. So now we're just going to darken everything up, starting at the top here on the trees. So some of these lines, so we actually change direction with some of these lines. 
as you can see, onto this trunk. And then I also go back and sort of do some outlining. This trunk has black over it. And again, what I like is having some texture here. So not worrying if it's all filled in with black because we want the blue to still kind of shine through. And I'm just kind of recreating a little bit of texture by doing it this way with the pencil. And then I like to go back, especially on this one, and just make some parts a little darker with the black. And then going back to our leaves and the smaller parts here and going over those with some black just to make them a little darker. Um, you want the blue to kind of stand out on a lot of these, but there is also black. So for instance, if you look at what I'm doing with the leaves, I'm still making sure that the blue is showing on the leaves. So right here, these are a bit darker. I kind of color over them. And at this stage, you can also add some more if you want, as far as, you know, some of the thinner branches here. You can make some thicker. Basically, you can have fun with this part. And it doesn't have to look exactly like mine. Again, just darkening everything up, adding some smaller twigs here. And then finally coming to the tree. Again, we're going to add some black lines on the blue so that that stays on that top section here. It gets a little darker. Here, but remember not to go and cover up the fur that we just did. On the owl. Over here, we've got some black line work that then takes us down into the rest of our tree here. Put some more black in between. So these branches are pretty dark. The branch that he's sitting on. So in the bottom part, you want to make sure you're pressing down on your black pencil.
pencil. And now we add the black on top of the blue for this tree trunk here. As we go towards the rest of the tree, we have some dark areas on the underside here. So we use our black to do that and then outline where the blue is and use some line work for that too. And then just going back over the blue over here. And then we do have some sort of shaded parts in the sky that you can use either black or blue for, kind of right around the moon. Then, excuse me, finally, our tree. And we're just adding the last parts to our tree here, making parts of it dark, but still making sure that the blue is showing through. So over here is probably the darkest part. As we go up into the tree, we do some outlining, some shading, we're going to outline the rest of the tree here, now in black, and then just go over the tree in black using line work. So as you can see, I'm kind of going back and forth. You can go over it a second time too. I also change direction as I get to over here because then we have a bit of a split with the color. Make sure to fill in that color up top and we have some kind of chunky parts of the tree here that I'm using the pencil the black pencil to go a little darker on and we also now have the blue lines I'm sorry they're blue but they're also black sort of the long lines that are happening all along the edge. It's a little hard to color on the edge here, but just do your best. So there's a lot of long lines that happen along this edge. And then Again, line work that goes in the opposite direction to create texture. And you can go over this again in blue. Just making this a little darker this section so 
So we did it blue over here, but now we're just adding some more black or some black to the line work. I'm gonna go back down to the rest of the tree. I just saw this part and thought, let me add some detail to it. So here I'm kind of shading and doing line work at the same time as I switch direction. And then just finish up by adding a bit more dark in this section of the tree. Here's kind of a bump happening here, two bumps. It's kind of bumpy along this edge. As you can see, I've changed directions, kind of scribbling, and I can go back and make a few things a little darker, but that is our full moon owl, and I can't wait to see what you do. Take a picture and send it to me. My email is artista72 at yahoo, A-R-T-E-E-S-T-A-7-2 -E -E at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.